All right, guys, so on Friday, we were talking about the idea of graphing things in intercept form, and I realized that some of us maybe had some problems with that. So what I'm trying to do is showing you guys a way um, in which you guys can look at an equation and graph it and using something that you know. Like, you guys know how to graph something in standard form, like ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, every quadratic in any form can be rewritten as this. So what we want to look at today is doing that. Because then once I get into this form, then I could say, hey, I could find the vertex using negative b over 2a. If I can get any equation in this form, I can always do this to find out what my axis symmetry is. So let's look at a couple different examples. Like here, this is something that's an intercept form. So I, this is one of the ones that we had problems with on Friday. And I can turn this equation, that's an intercept form, into standard form. So what am I going to do first? I'm going to multiply x plus 6 times x plus 4. Okay? So I'm going to take x plus 6 times x plus 4. So a lot of you guys do x plus 6 over x plus 4. Or you guys make a box... You put an x here, a 6 here, an x here, and a 4 there, and you guys multiply it out. Okay? So I'll do it both ways. I get 24, 4 times 6, I get 4x, I get 6x, and then I have an x squared. So I add it, I get x squared plus 10x plus 24. I can do the same thing here x times x gets me x squared plus 4x that's a 4 this is a 6x and this is 24 so I have the same thing I have x squared plus 10x plus 24 now because I multiplied both of these things I gotta deal with the 2 now so all I'm gonna do is put a 2 around both of these Okay, so I get 2x squared plus 20x plus 24. So I got 2x squared plus 20x plus 24. So these are y equals. So what can I do now? If I wanted to graph them, yes, I could look at this and find the intercepts, but now I could also just say, hey, x equals negative 20 over 2 times 2. And I can say, hey, that's x equals negative 20 over 4. So you get x to be negative 5. So that's an easy way for me to turn this into something that I know how to work with. I know how to work with this. I can rewrite this in standard form and I can graph this. It's easy for me to do. Okay? So that's with me looking at something in intercept form. I want you guys to try this one for me. And what I'm looking for from you guys is I'm f asking you guys first to rewrite in standard form. Okay? And then number two, find the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to ask the sub to give you guys, like, um, give about four minutes, and we'll look at this. All right, guys, so hopefully, uh, if you haven't done so, you've waited four minutes or so to give you guys a chance to try this, to find the standard form and axis of symmetry. So what I got was I got standard form uh, to be 3x squared plus 12x minus 36. And I just multiplied these two together to get this quantity and then distributed 3. And then I found my axis of symmetry to be x equals negative 2. So let's look at a new type of equation. Uh, let's look at something that's in vertex form. It's called vertex form because it's 
tell me what the vertex is. So this is very similar, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to deal with the square first. So I'm going to take x minus 7 and multiply it by x minus 7. So if I do this, I can make a box or I can distribute it any way that you guys want to. Multiply it up and down. I have x and negative 7. x and negative 7. I get x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 49. So you got x squared minus 14x plus 49. So what I'm going to do is put the 2 in front of everything. So this is the first thing I do. The second thing is right here. I'm going to distribute the 2 throughout the parentheses. So I have 2x squared minus 28x plus 98 plus 6. So first step is to square. Second step is to distribute the 2 that's in front of the parentheses. Step 3 is to combine like terms. So what I end up with is I end up with y equals 2x squared minus 28x plus 104. So this is standard form. Okay, now what can I do? If I want to find the axis symmetry, remember x equals negative b over 2a. I could say x equals negative of negative 28 over 2 times 2. So it looks like I get x equals 28 over 4. So x equals 7. Okay. First thing is I square, take x minus 7 and square it by multiplying it. And then I distribute the 2 throughout the parentheses. And then I combine like terms. Can you guys try this one for me? I'm going to give you guys like 4 minutes to try this, and I'm going to show you guys the answer. Alright, so hopefully you guys got a chance to finish this problem. And... I'm going to ask uh, that I show you the answer. And what I got was I got negative 3x squared minus 42x minus 144. I squared this quantity first, multiplied it. I got x squared plus 14x plus 49. Then I distributed negative 3 through everything. And then I added the 3 to get negative 3x squared minus 42x minus 144. Now the next thing I do is find the axis symmetry. And I got that to be negative 7. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is I'm going to ask you guys to try a few problems, part of your classwork today, and we will go over them tomorrow in class. Thanks, and have a good day.